If Steve gets it right, Megan will be eliminated. But if he gets it wrong, it will be three wrong in a row and you'll be gone. Oh. Who stays? Who goes? The question is, find out right now on 500 Questions. You're about to witness television history. The smartest people in the country are about to play the toughest game ever devised. No saves, no helps, no multiple choice. Our geniuses are ready. The pressure is on. It's day five. Will anybody be able to answer 500 questions? Quest. This is 500 questions. The world's toughest questions and only one simple rule. Never get three wrongs in a row. If you do, you're gone. Our reigning genius is at a very critical stage of the game. Let's meet him again. It's Steve. Welcome back. Good to see you. Let's meet the person whose sole job it is, is to get rid of you. It's your challenger, Megan Barnes. The situation is absolutely critical. Steve has two wrongs on the board and two questions still left to answer if he's going to complete his next 50. It is absolutely possible for you to be out because you could end up with three wrongs in a row and you'll be gone. gone. Steve, with strategy, left it so it has to be elements of the periodic uh, table. That wily fox. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is an enormous amount riding on one question. All right. Elements of the periodic table. And the question is, what element's chemical symbol is ES? Ten seconds. Einsteinium. Yes! <laughs> Get rid of the rounds! Add in the money! <laughs> All right, last question for this 50. Remember, you don't want to get it wrong, even though the money's yeah. yours, because you don't want to take a wrong into your next 50. Yeah. Elements of the periodic table. I'm choosing it for you. It's the last one. That's fine. <laughs> the question is, what is the only non-metallic element that is liquid at room temperature? Ten seconds. Bromine. questions. You have earned $110,000. Whatever happens now, that 110000 is yours to keep. You still have 350 questions <laughs> to go. Megan, what can I say? You were marvellous to be with us. We say goodbye. Thank you so Thank much. You. Great. Big hand for Megan. Steve gets ready to play his next round of 50 questions. But before we move any further, let's meet your next challenger. Where's he from? Simi Valley, California. What does he do? He's a city planner. What makes him a genius? He has a photographic memory and is top 3% of world quizzing. It's Adam Pilani. How are you? I'm well. How are uh, you? I'm ready to win. Can you do it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Steve, time for your next ten categories. World literature, architecture, <laughs> movies, pop music, history, gems and minerals, religious figures, the U.S. Congress, Random European landmarks. Initial thoughts. 
That is a good board. We've got religious figures, which I'm sure everyone at this point knows I may know something about. Remind us why. I have a theology master's degree, so <laughs> that should be good. All right, let's play 500 questions. Uh -huh. Choose your first category. Go. Gems and minerals. Gems and minerals. $1,000 if it's the first right answer. 10 seconds, and the question is... Donated to the American Museum of Natural History in 1900 and stolen in 1964, what is one of the world's largest star sapphires? Ten seconds. Star of India. Yes! Wow. <laughs> $1,000. I thought that was a diamond. <laughs> well, you were wrong. <laughs> but you were right, but you were wrong. First question, and you got $1,000. We will take your next category. Yeah, gems and minerals again, please. All right. The question is... Quarters currently minted in the United States are made of nickel and what other metal? Ten seconds. Tin. Um, what is it? It's nickel and aluminum. It's nickel and uh, copper. It's yes. nickel. Okay. That's correct. No money. The next question. <laughs> All right. Gems and minerals again, please. Gems and minerals. <laughs> Three questions in and we have a triple threat. Yeah. You know the rules here. Three answers. Each is worth $1,000, only if you give me all three. Yes. You've got 10 seconds. And the question is... Introduced as standards to measure a gemstone's value, the four Cs stand for carrot, and what other three characteristics? 10 seconds. Cut, clarity, color. That's correct. $3,000. You've got $4,000. 153 questions answered. Awesome. Choose your next category, please. Gems and minerals. <laughs> You've got a three advantage. $1,000 if it's the first right answer. Yes, 10 sir. seconds. Gems and minerals, please. Deriving its name from Spanish words meaning little silver, what precious metal is used in cancer treatments? 10 seconds. Platinum. Correct. <laughs> Choose your next category. Architecture. All right, and the question is, a great influence on modern architecture, what early 20th century school in Germany emphasized functional design? 10 seconds. Bauhaus. Five questions answered, $6,000. Yeah. Because one was a triple yeah, threat. Yeah, good. Uh, six from five, I like it. Next category. Architecture, again. Architecture, second one in the category. And the question is, what American architectural landmark features gargoyles that resemble the radiator caps and hood ornaments from a 1920s automobile? Ten seconds. The Vanderbilt House, the uh, the one in the Stanford one, uh, Taliesin West. Uh, what what's the Stanford one? Uh, Hearst Manor. Um, ooh, no. No. Wrong on the board. You gonna have a go at it, bragging rights? It's the Chrysler Building. Of course. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Walter P. Chrysler. Yeah. Steve, there's one wrong on the board. Will he get rid of it? Join us after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to 500 Questions. Steve has one wrong on the board. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. One wrong, but you've got to get rid of that wrong. Where would you like to go? Religious figures. Religious figures. Yeah. That's going to be your saviour. <laughs> I hope I hope so. <laughs> All right, religious figures. A thousand of us right answer. Ten seconds. And the question is... Along with his brother, British reformer John Wesley is most famous for founding what Protestant denomination? Ten seconds. Methodist. <laughs> Correct. Where would you like to go? I guess we'll go for a walk. Let's have pop music. Pop music. A new category. The question is... In 2014, what former contestant on American Idol toured America singing lead vocals for the band Queen? Ten seconds. Lambert. That's correct. Would you have known that? Yeah, 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 I knew that, yeah. He's very... He's, he's, uh... Do that again. He's pretty flamboyant. Do that again. <laughs> oh. Enough! <laughs> All right. 
Another category, please. Um, let's do movies. Movies. New category. And the question is... What movie centers on a baseball team called the Rockford Peaches? Ten seconds. A league of their own. Correct. $9,000 in play. Next category. Um, random. The random. And the question is... The name of what high-pitched flute means little in Italian? Ten seconds. Piccolo? Yes! The problem is he's not giving you a chance, is he? No, I haven't had any battles yet. I'm, I'm waiting. They're there. Oh, I know they're there. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of looking for him, too, because then I can have him with no strikes on the board. It's less pressure. I, wow, well, I don't know, man. All right. There are still one, two, three, four categories that you haven't tickled. Yeah. Let's do random again, please. Random. A thousand is the first right answer. Ten seconds. And the question is... What actor left his job as a regular on the TV series House MD to become associate director of the Obama administration's Office of Public Engagement? Ten seconds. Leonard? Um, uh, who else is on House? It's not Maury. Uh, like, um, it's the, probably the Australian guy. I don't know his name. Um, Smith Jones Jackson. I don't know. A rung on the board. A chance for bragging rights. I think it may be Cal Penn. Absolutely correct. Okay. Cal Penn. Where are you going to go to get rid of it? You really don't want two wrongs. Yeah, I know. Religious figures. Religious figures. Yes. To get rid of the wrong. Praying for some help. And the question is... At the time of his graduation in 1678, what Puritan preacher was the youngest person to receive a degree from Harvard College? Ten seconds. Edwards, Mather, Cotton Mather. Okay. The wrong has gone. Here we go, next category. Yeah, um, let's go back to random. Random, 50-50 so far. Oh. Ah! It's your chance. Step it's, into play. All right, all right, here we go. Whoa. Are you sure you want to do that on national television? <laughs> now that you mention it, I'm not sure. Gentlemen, prepare for battle. It's a random category. There are multiple answers. You'll take it in turns. You have five seconds to answer. The first answer is the only one I will accept. Are you going to lead or follow? Uh, because I'll need some time to think about it, I will go second. You're going to follow? Yes. Adam, you will lead after the break. Welcome back. We are at Battle Stations. It's a random category. We expect multiple answers. You'll take it in turns. You have five seconds to answer. The first answer is the only one I will accept. You're leading, Adam. And the question is... Besides Charlie Brown, name the ten main characters listed on the Peanuts comic strips website. First, Linus. Snoopy. Lucy. Sally. Schroeder. Peppermint Patty. Marcy. Woodstock. strategy paid off. It works. It works. It works. Congratulations. That's another thousand dollars that you have. Let's have a look at the others that you could have gone for. Brain Franklin Pen. and Pigpen. All right. You got a thousand on that. Yeah. Whew. Where would you like to go on the board? Architecture. Architecture. You have a 50-50 on that so far. Yeah. Then the question is... Completed in 1973, what world-renowned music venue was finished a decade late and 14 times over budget? Ten seconds. Sydney Opera House. One of the most amazing buildings, one of my favourite buildings in the world. If I win this one, I can go to Australia too. So. You can indeed. <laughs> All right, 12,000 is in play. Let's have your next category. Architecture again, please. 
architecture again. You've had a two to one success rate here. And the next question is Frank Lloyd Wright built what home directly on top of a tributary of Pennsylvania's Yokogany River? Uh, falling water. Less than <laughs> Powerful stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You're finding it difficult, yeah? Uh, this is this board's been really good so far for me, so I'm, I'm you know, it, it'll come. It'll come. All right, um, gems and minerals, we'll finish it off. Gems and minerals to finish off the category. Hey! A top ten challenge for you. Ten answers. We need five in 15 seconds. Do you want to pass it or play it? I'll play. Why? I just don't want to give him a chance. I'll regret it more if he just rattles it off. And he's he's gotten everything right so far. So. I also have a degree in geology. Well, then I'm glad I made that now choice. Now that it's no longer in play, I'll <laughs> reveal that. All right. The top ten challenge on gems and minerals. The question is... Name five of the ten minerals listed on the Mohs hardness scale. Ten seconds. Okay, there's talc, and there's um, apatite, and there's diamond, feldspar quartz. Um, there's, um, shoot, uh, pyrite, um, shoot, uh, granite, maybe? Um, oh, no. Wrong. Corundum with, or, or yeah. ruby. Yep. Let's have a look at the full list. There's gypsum, <laughs> calcite, fluorite. Gypsum, yeah. Topaz, corundum. Yeah. You have one wrong on the board. The issue, of course, here is do you go religious figures or yeah. do you really need to save that for desperate days further on? I, I think any time you get a strike, you should get rid of it. It's been working so far. I'm going to go religious figures. The religious figures, because yeah. you're quite right. You can't take rich. A battle on your strong subject. Yes. Adam, step into play. <laughs> Gentlemen, prepare for battle. <laughs> I am phased. You have one wrong on the board. Yes. If you get this wrong, you'll have two wrong, and Adam will get to choose your next category. It's yeah. serious for you. Yeah. You need to try and win this because you're trying to force the issue. That's right. So there is much at stake for both of you. Religious figures, are you going to lead or follow? Um, this one I'm going to lead and leave him with the hard ones. Okay. All right, you're leading on religious figures. And the question is, since the reign of St. Peter, what are the ten most popular names for popes? Five seconds. John. Benedict. Pius. Gregory. Adrian. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Whoa! Popes, 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 popes. Adrian? Yeah, there's like at least six. I think there's only six Adrians. Okay, then that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look and see which you could have chosen. Clement. Innocent, Leo, Stephen, Boniface, Urban. Yeah. I, I had some of those and just went with the wrong one. Yeah. You're in a critical situation. Indeed. If you get oh. the... Hey, how you that? Were you listening to anything I said? <laughs> <laughs> I was... I was... I haven't been looking over there too much. I've been looking over there. Yes. Hey. Right. If you get the next answer wrong, it'll be... Three wrong in a row, and you're... Oh! To make matters worse, Adam is going to choose your next category. That's right. If Steve gets it wrong, he will be gone. We'll find out what that category is after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to 500 questions, and it couldn't be more exciting. Steve has two wrongs on the board, and it's now up to Adam to choose the next category. Of course, if Steve gets that wrong, then it's three wrongs in a row, and he's gone. <laughs> now, Adam, you need to make the right decision. Obviously, where are you going to send him? Well, um, let's see. There's architecture, which he's been trying to avoid, and I think I might be able to do better than him if it comes up in a battle. 
Random is always nice because you never know what you're going to get. But you got to figure it's going to be like the median between all the categories. And his median performance on any category is really good. So right. I'm not so going to do random. I'm doing architecture. Yeah. There's a logic to it, but he yeah. has had three to one in his favor on architecture. He has. But it's too late. You've chosen. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. To be clear, yeah. you are now playing to stay in 500 questions. There's 13,000 still in play. Yes. Do you understand? I do. To stay in 500 questions, you need to get this right. You have 10 seconds. And the question is, Originally built for World War II, what kind of corrugated metal structure was named for the Rhode Island location where it was first manufactured? Ten seconds. Pillbox, um, I don't, ooh, uh, this is, I don't know, um, stucco, uh, I don't know this answer. I, I, uh, 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 Providence. I'm sorry, that is wrong. You now have three wrongs in a row and you are gone. But before we say goodbye to would you have known? Quonset Hut. Yes, you chose the right. No choice. idea, no idea. What a brilliant contestant you have been. You've got through 168 questions. Yeah. An amazing achievement. The furthest that anybody's gone on 500 questions and you have a hundred and ten thousand dollars for your children and your wife thank you, thank you. brilliant contestant adam take his place of a champ, 168 questions he managed. And Steve now- was, Steve was really good. Now it's your turn, but before you play, we need to meet the person who is waiting for you to fail. That's it's true. It's your challenger. Where's she from? Chicago, Illinois. What does she do? She's a doctoral candidate at Princeton. What makes her a genius? She graduated cum laude from Harvard Law and has an IQ of 154. It's Pam Mueller. Pam, welcome. Thank you. You have a law degree. I do. You have practiced as a lawyer and then decided to go back for more education. Why? So I plan to teach law, showing how psychology influences decisions in the legal system. Right. There is an enormous amount, as you have seen, of psychology in this game. Definitely. All right, your road to 500 questions begins with your first 50. Let's okay. see the 10 categories. What do we got? We've got US states. European history, basketball, Lawyers. the sea, lawyers, <laughs> movie animals, are perennial random, arts and artists, companies and literature. First impressions, what do you like the look of? I like US states. I mean, that's, I'm not, I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying that's my favorite one there. <laughs> to make any money, you must get through all 50 questions. Let's play. 500 questions. Okay. And where's your first category? Uh, literature. 10 seconds on the clock, 1,000 for your first right answer. And the question is, written while his father was dying, what Welsh author composed the poem, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night? 10 seconds. Dylan Thomas? Absolutely. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. One of my favorite poems. Oh, great. Gave you $1,000 yeah. and your first one, and we're off to a strong start. Next category, please. Uh, let's try lawyers. Pam's a lawyer, so uh, I better uh, clear that up. And the question is, 
What former world leader formed a law firm with Jorge Azpiazu and Rafael Rasende after earning a degree from the University of Havana, Havana in 1950? Ten seconds. Castro, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have 2,000 because you're getting right answers. Two for two. Let's make it three for three. Yeah, uh, literature. Literature. Second one for literature. And the question is... In 1989, who issued a fatwa against the author Salman Rushdie following the publication of his book, The Satanic Verses? Ten seconds. Ayatollah Khomeini. Three for three. You're on a roll here, yeah, we'll yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next um, category. You know what, the C could be anything. I'm gonna try the C. The C. That's, a, that's you know, it's romantic. It's the C. <laughs> the love of the C. Arr. Have you ever met a sailor who went, ah? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> Right, the C, and the question is... With peaks higher than those in the Appalachians, what world's longest mountain range runs for thousands of miles, mostly underwater? Ten seconds. Uh, the Hawaiian Islands, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the... Yes! No money for that one, but you do get the right answer on the second attempt. Yeah. The next category. Let's go back to lawyers. Returning to lawyers, and the question is... Along with Oliver Tambo, who formed the first black law partnership in South Africa? Ten seconds. Uh, Nelson Mandela? Uh... Yes! Okay. All right. Five questions, five answers. Yeah. You are one percent of the way through your challenge of 500 That's questions. one percent more than I was a few minutes ago. <laughs> if he keeps up at this sort of pace... If he doesn't give me a chance, there's not much I can do, but there are still the battles. Excellent. All right. Tell, All right. Us, about, tell us about where you're from. Tell us about your family. I have a wife, Jennifer. She's great. She's smart. And then we have a little two-year-old daughter named Katie, who is wonderful beyond imagination, but is an incredible handful. And, 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 and one on the way, one in the oven. Hey! hey. <laughs> All right, you're doing extremely well on the money. You've got 4,000, but you don't get a penny of that for family, present, and future yeah. until you get to the end of the board. So let's have a look where That's you're going right, to go next. Yeah. <sighs> where do I want? Okay, let's try basketball. Basketball. The question on basketball is. In 2013, Dennis Rodman visited North Korea, accompanied by current members of what basketball team? Ten seconds. Uh, the Lakers, the Bulls, the Pistons, the, uh, the U.S. national team, the Cuban national team, the Japanese national team, um, um, uh, the Clippers, the... No! Whoa, first rung on the board. Yeah. Do you want to have a go for bragging rights? The Harlem Globetrotters? Yes! <laughs> You have one rung on the board. Getting yep. rid of that has to be your priority. Pam is watching very closely for her chance to take your place. We'll find out what happens after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to 500 Questions. Adam has his first wrong on the board and he needs to get rid of it as fast as possible because one thing we found trouble builds quickly here it if does. you don't get rid of them so where are you going to go i'm going to go with u.s states u.s states oh. oh okay okay it's a top 10 challenge there are yeah. 10 answers yeah. i need five in 15 seconds yeah you always have the choice do you want to play or pass uh, i'm this? gonna play this one i'm not surprised yeah. All right, top 10 challenge on U.S. states. 15 seconds, and the question is... According to the USDA, name five of the 10 U.S. states that have the most cattle. 15 seconds. Texas, Oklahoma, California, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas. The first five were correct. That's all right, how all right. you do it. All right, all right. You got rid of the wrong. It gets you a thousand dollars because you got it right. Yeah, yeah. For those wanting to know, these are the answers that we could have: Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. Yeah. Next category, please. Ah, uh, well, let's go back to basketball then. 
Basketball, one wrong so yeah, far. I got, I got one wrong. Maybe it's a weak category. I don't know. Well, let's see. Don't give too much away. Here we go. The question is. What late seven foot seven inch NBA player from Sudan killed a lion with a spear and traded 80 cows for a wife? 10 seconds. Manute Bowl. Yes. Add the money. All right. Well, I mean, I recovered well there. 50 50 on basketball. Huh. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the C. Just because, you know, it's a broad category, it couldn't be anything. Oh. Interesting. A top 10 challenge. Are you going to play or pass? I'm going to play it. I think I know my, my C. All right. 15 seconds. The question is... Name five of the ten fish or shellfish that are the most consumed seafoods in the U.S., according to the National Fisheries Institute. 15 seconds. Tuna, salmon, uh, cod, haddock, uh, pet, haddock? No, uh, pollock. Um, 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 uh, uh, yellowtail, uh, octopus, shrimp. Oh! Oh, God, you got it! <laughs> Let's look at the answers. Yeah. Those yeah. are the ones you gave us. Uh, tilapia, cat, catfish, oh, catfish, crab, oh. pangasius, and I've plants. never heard of pangasius. Good thing I didn't need ten. It's that nondescript fish that's yeah. described as catch of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You're doing extremely well. You're uh, coming up to question 10. You have an amazing $7,000, uh, which for 10 questions is yeah, not is, yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are an extremely respectable 89% hit rate. OK, let's have your next category. And yeah. you're strong everywhere. Yeah, you know what? I mean, because it could be anything, and I, mean, I don't have any Xs, let's try random. Random. Into play. Power posing. Every time <laughs> they step into play, they try to psych. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for battle. In a battle question, you have five seconds to answer. You're always in control. Yeah. Lead or follow on the random. You know what, because it's a random and I don't know what it's going to be, I'm going to follow and make her go first. All right, it's a random battle question. And the question is, in the U.S., what are the eight schools that make up the Ivy League? Five seconds. Princeton. Dartmouth. Harvard. Brown. Cornell. Uh, Yale. University of Pennsylvania. Uh, Columbia. Oh. Well done. You have been to two of them. I have. The first two I named, I gotta get the plug in. <laughs> How many years in school have you done? Skipped a grade, so 11 through high school. She skipped a grade, did you notice? I, I, I noticed that. Which yeah. grade did you skip? Second. Why? I was too good for it. <laughs> that is why she is on 500 questions. All right. To your perch, it's a draw. Nobody wins, nobody loses. That's right. You've got through 10 questions. Uh, you've got $7,000 in play, but not a penny of it is yours until you've answered the next 40 questions. That's, that's a lot of questions. Next category, please. Uh, again, it's the only one I ever read in, so basketball. Basketball. Okay, $1,000 with first right answer. 10 seconds, and the question is... What was the last NCAA Division I men's basketball team to win the championship after going the entire season undefeated? Ten seconds. Michigan State, Michigan, uh, Duke, UNC, uh, la, 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 UCLA, um, 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 Arizona State, uh, Stanford. Dang it. Here's the answer. Indiana. Indiana. Who's... Okay. Yeah. These multiply rapidly if you don't deal with them immediately. So where are you going to go to get it. rid of it? I'm going to try European history. Whoa! You're starting a new category with wrong, wrong on the board. Yeah, you know, there's a geographic component to history. All right. Ten seconds. European history. And the question is... In 1830, Greece won its independence from whom? Ten seconds. The Ottoman Empire. Yes! $1,000 the next category. Uh, you know what? I, 
Boots. I, I'm trying to clear out basketball at this point, it that looks like. That is a perfectly good strategy. You have a two-to-one against you yeah. in basketball. I know some things in basketball. Clearly not what we're asking. All right. Yeah. <laughs> But it makes perfect sense. I'm being mean here. It makes perfect sense. You have no wrongs on the board. And anywhere and else. Let's, yeah, yeah. let's say basketball. Yeah. Uh, the question is, what champion with the New York Knicks later became a U.S. senator from New Jersey? Ten seconds. Bradley. A thousand dollars. Nice one. That's right. Next yeah. category. Let's finish out basketball. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Ooh. It's a top 10 challenge. Yeah. You have the choice to play it or pass. But before you choose, we'll take a break. <laughs> Welcome back. It's 500 questions. Adam's about to face a top 10 challenge. Basketball, it's the category. Now, you have the choice to play it or pass. I'm going to play it. All right, so the top 10 challenge, 10 answers. I need five in 15 seconds. And the question is, since 1979, only 10 basketball organizations have won the NBA championships. Name five of the 10, 15 seconds. Lakers, Celtics, Bulls, Pistons, San Antonio Spurs, Dallas Mavericks. Yes. $1,000, look at the list. Miami Heat, the Dallas Mavericks, the Houston Rockets, the Philadelphia Sixers, Sixers, Sixers wow. Seattle. There, those are the list you yeah. could have gone for. $10,000. And for you, I'm guessing the relief is uh, basketball's gone. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I do like basketball, but, but I'm mostly into baseball. All right. So, yeah. There are three categories you haven't tickled yet. You know what? Companies could be things that I know, or it could be things I don't know. I better do it now while I don't have any wrongs. No wrongs. You're going to go for companies. That's question 15, yeah. companies. And the question is, what is the appropriate middle name of department store founder J.C. Penny? Ten seconds. Cash. You got it. <laughs> Money added. Yeah. You're up to 11,000. You're 3% through. The next category. Let's say on companies. Companies, second one in the category. Okay. Triple threat. I need three answers. You get $1,000 each, but only if you give me all three. That's correct. You've got 10 seconds in which to do it. You ready? Yeah. Ready as I'll be. <laughs> Calm yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm ready. Triple threat on companies. And the question is... Formed in 1898, Nabisco got its name by combining what three words? Ten seconds. National Biscuit Company. You call them cookies, I call them biscuits. We call it $3,000. And on you go, sir. We haven't tickled movie animals yet. I, I, you know, there was about a decade where I was seeing close to 100 movies a year. But now that I have the two-year-old, Katie, ooh, well, now three a year. <laughs> different movies, all right. Yeah, yeah, Move. the same ones over and over. <laughs> <laughs> and the question is, the autobiography, Oki, My Story, is from the canine star of what 2012 Oscar-winning film? Ten seconds. War Horse? My dog, Marley? No, 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 no. I'll give the dog uh, uh, the artist. <laughs> it was the artist. But we'll need to check because this one is closer than we've had before. Yeah. So please do bear with me. <sighs> Adam, Adam, Adam. I did see the artist. Adam, so... Adam, Adam. You got it! Oh! If you're going to make me sweat, I'm going to make you sweat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shall we move on? We have lots of questions that we've got to get through. If we are going to get your little one and little one to be some money. Yeah, yeah. 
Where to next? I'm gonna I'm gonna spread the wealth and choose art and artists. Art and artists, first of the category, and no rungs on the board. And the question is. Inspired by an issue of the All-American Men of War comic book, what pop artist painted Wham! in 1963? Ten seconds. Roy Lichtenstein. Correct. <laughs> Next category, please. Uh, random, random. Let's go. Random. Second on random. You've had to first yeah. correct. And the question is... Launching the careers of artists like Rihanna and Neo, Jay-Z served as president and CEO of what record label from 2005 to 2007? Ten seconds. Uh, Grand Royal, uh, uh, Brooklyn, Jay-Z, uh, J -J <laughs> There's a wrong bragging rights. It sounds like the audience knows it. The answer, of course, is... The oh, my God! Death Jam. Yeah. I thought okay. it would be something that he started. Ugh. You have a wrong on the board. Yeah, I do. Let's get serious about this. Yeah. Getting rid of that wrong because the money is now adding up. And so you need to answer the next question. Yeah. On the next 500 questions. Oh, oh, oh. Good night. <laughs> Our first genius, Dan, climbed up 57 questions. Not bad. Then Steve set the bar as an astonishing 168. 110,000 dollars. Adam has made it through 19 questions, but has one wrong on the board. A critical situation. Will he have the shortest run of any genius so far? Uh, the wind gun got... No, uh, um... Find out tomorrow night.